one of my friend's fathers had this bus in his backyard and it was dead to the world. It had six coats of paint on it, didn't run, and I rebuilt the whole thing. I built the bus years ago in Texas, in El Paso, on the Mexican border. I lived there for many years, and I sold and vended tie-dyes all over the Southwest. I went to this festival in California, and when we were leaving Bishop, the motor blew up in the bus. So we parked it in a storage yard. But life went on, and we had three kids, and so we uh, moved back east, and the grandparents were there, and, and then, you know, we thought about bringing it back, but it just wasn't for a lot of reasons and our youngest is in college and uh, he's in Portland, Oregon so he's going to come down and join dad on this on this uh, venture but I'm off the road after 40 years driving for a moving company going to have a ball going to go through El Paso the southern route and then I'm just going to head east all the way probably to Georgia through Atlanta and right up right up realistically if I drove what I'm supposed to every day it would take four days but I'm going to take like eight or ten well the bus is decked out like you wouldn't believe. I put all tile floors and tile countertops. It's got stainless steel oven and stove. We've got a six foot six shower. Got three air conditioners. Up on the second floor, it has queen size futons, vinyl seats. I redid the whole inside. We have a thing called Trips for Kids in Maine. They're an organization that's been, you know, kind of getting the kids together and trying to, uh, you know, just be a presence for them to get out and enjoy nature and challenge themselves and connect. So we want to use the bus as a way of sort of attracting them and maybe even uh, sometimes taking bikes somewhere with the bus. 